In this video series, I'm going to walk you through some different ways to control your image generation process, starting with control layers, which are a specific type of layer you'll find in the layer tab. Control layers, sometimes referred in the community as control nets, provide guidance during the image generation process, which typically takes the form of line or structural control. Some of the most commonly used controls include Canny Control Net, Scribble, Soft Edge, and Depth. Let's start by dragging an existing image onto the canvas and selecting New Control Layer. We'll use this photograph of a mountain villa as an example. After selecting the image, you'll want to press the Filter button, which automatically applies the default filter type to the image, turning it into the type of image that the Control Layer model recognizes. You can adjust the low threshold and high threshold settings to refine how the lines are applied to the processed image. Once you're satisfied with the adjustments, press Apply. Now we have a filtered control image that's part of the generation process. It provides line guidance and the model will follow the lines defined by the image. You can further edit the control image on the canvas using the drawing tools if there is additional guidance you want to add or remove. Next, let's go over some of the settings. The weight setting controls how much influence this control layer will have in the generation process. A high weight will try to strictly follow the lines while a low weight will let the model draw a bit outside the lines. The begin and end step percentages determine at what point during the image generation you want this control image to be used. Imagine the generation process as running from 0 to 100. If you set the begin step to 0, then the model will look at the control image from the start of the generation process. If you were to set the begin step to 25%, the model wouldn't consider the control image until about a quarter of the way through the generation process. Adjusting begin and end steps is a good way to give your model more flexibility, which can yield better results. There are also different control modes you can experiment with to refine the process. For this demo, let's use a prompt like futuristic terrace structure and press invoke. You'll see that the model is now following the line guidance from the control image. Since we lowered the end step, there's some creative flexibility in the output, and you can adjust these settings to achieve the level of fidelity to your control image that you prefer. If I press accept, this image is added as a raster layer to the layers tab, and the full canvas can be saved to the gallery. Next, we're going to add a global reference image, sometimes referred to as an IP adapter. A global reference image helps guide the model by referencing the style and or composition of a single image, influencing the final output. For example, if I want to influence an image I've created with a photograph of a particular architectural style, I can drag that image from the gallery and select new global reference image. This will then appear in the layers tab and I have a few options to customize it. First, I can select the model I want to use. I can also choose whether I want to reference just the style of the image, the composition, or both. The global reference image has the same weight and begin and end step sliders as the control layers, and they function in the same way. For this demo, I'm setting the weight to 0.7 and lowering the end step to give the model more freedom. Once everything is set, press Invoke. You'll notice that compared to our previous image, this one clearly shows the influence of the IP adapter. Let's say we only want our reference image applied to a specific area of the canvas. In the global example, you can see how the smooth surfaces and grey tones were applied even to the natural elements like the mountains and trees. To control this more precisely, you can choose to create a regional reference image. This module has the same settings as the global reference image, but it allows you to apply the reference only to selected areas of the image using the drawing tools. For this example, I'll brush around the architectural elements in my sketch and press Invoke. Now, 
the surrounding areas stay closer to the original generation, while the reference image is only applied to the area I selected. You can also add text-based regional guidance by clicking Add Regional Guidance and selecting either Prompt or Negative Prompt. This tool is perfect for giving the model specific instructions about what different components in your image should be. By layering these tools together, you can finally control every aspect of your image generation, allowing you to create highly customized professional-grade results.